Good morning, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Welcome in. Today we're in a little bit of a different setting. We're in my bathroom. Hopefully it's not too echoey. I've never filmed with my camera in here before. But I've always wanted to do a Vogue styled skincare routine video. Since it's daytime, I want to show you my morning routine. It's not really that early, I won't lie. If you don't know, I am a night shift nurse and it's the weekend, so I didn't make myself get up too early, but we're having some iced coffee to get the morning going. Um, otherwise, grab a coffee, have a coffee with me, and let's get into my daytime skincare routine. As far as the morning cleanse goes, it depends how my skin feels in the morning. If it feels kind of dry and I didn't use any actives that night, I'll just rinse it with water or some micellar water and a cotton round. Last night I used um, a retinol and my skin feels a little more oily, so I'm going to use a very gentle cleanser. Probably my favorite um, gentle cleanser I've used in the past year. This is the Good Molecules Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. I am almost done with this one and it's just a beautiful just a beautiful gel cleanser and I absolutely love gel cleansers so I'm gonna cleanse first with that nothing too crazy just getting the excess dirt from the nighttime off I am gonna be filming some other things for Instagram and YouTube today so I just want to make sure I have a really clean fresh base for the day rinse that off After I cleanse during the daytime, I always use a toner option. The toner I've been using right now is the Biosense Squalene and BHA Pore Minimizing Toner. I really love this toner. It's a gentle, daily, very mildly exfoliating toner. But what I'm actually going to use today is one of my all-time favorites that I pull out when I really want to get rid of any extra dead skin cells in a gentle way. It's the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So they come in a jar and then you can... This jar is actually almost empty. As you can see, I really love these. I don't use these every day because they are a gentle physical exfoliant, but because I didn't use any exfoliants last night, um, and I noticed some dry skin like around my cheeks here, I just wanna make sure we get rid of that. I go really gentle with the kind of rough side of the pad, and just like my chin, my nose, and my cheeks are where I struggle. And I kind of just use upward motions kind of give yourself a facial, facial massage as well. These just, they don't have fragrance, they're gentle, they don't tingle, but that pad just gives that ever so slight physical exfoliation that's gentle on the skin. Yeah, I really, really love these. You can see after I cleanse that there's still like dirt on there. During the daytime, I always use a vitamin C serum. It helps with um, antioxidants and gives you extra protection against the sun. The current serum I'm using is from SkinCeuticals. It is the Floritin CF Gel. Uh, this has ascorbic acid, 0.5% ferulic acid, and Floritin. Now this I got for a deal for about $20. It is like $150 or $60 serum. And it has the most interesting gel texture. And this little bottle has actually lasted me a lot longer than I thought it would, but I don't know if I'll repurchase. I have a lot of other vitamin C serums to try. I get a lot of skincare in the mail, but it takes me a long time to test it all out because I like to do it in a genuine way where I incorporate one product at a time and use it for a while as much as I possibly can. Like I won't try another vitamin C serum until this one's over so I can really tell if I like this one and if I use a new one and my skin changes then I will know. One more coffee break. Next is moisturizer. So I've raved about this moisturizer here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram. It's the Fresh Deep Rose Hydration Moisturizer. I absolutely have been loving this one for daytime. Oh, got a hair on it. For daytime and nighttime. It's just a beautiful, luxurious texture that like you only need the smallest amount and it just spreads on the skin so nicely. It just, it feels like slippery but not silicone-y. It sinks into the skin 
but doesn't like sink in and leave no moisture behind. It leaves the skin so beautifully moisturized. I just, I love this one. And I try a lot of moisturizers. And for the most part, I'm like, yeah, I like it, but I don't know if it's anything special that I'd repurchase. This is not cheap, and I would I would repurchase this one. I don't always use eye cream because to be honest, I'm lazy and I don't see it as a necessary step. If I'm in a hurry, it's a step I skip because you definitely can skip eye cream. One of my favorite eye creams of all time for daytime is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Eye Cream. It has this beautiful moisturizing texture, but a little bit of like pearlescence that brightens under the eyes. My under eyes are definitely sensitive and a lot of eye creams can irritate and this does not. It feels cooling, it leaves a brightening, moisturizing layer. I just love it so much. And a lot of eye creams like pill under, under concealer and this does not do that at all. My lips are feeling really dry, so I have to go in with some lip balm. This is the Milani Fruit Fetish Mango Coconut Lip Balm. This has been my favorite like this week for uh, daytime because it's like kind of glossy. And it reminds me of like a daytime version of the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. I've been testing out a lot of nighttime lip therapies and they all are so waxy and they just sit on top of my lips and this really sinks in. It's beautiful and glossy and I love this formula. They have like a bunch of different colors of this, but I like this one because it's clear and I love mango coconut. The next step is not a step I always do because I don't have time. It's definitely a bougie step in my routine. Um, it's using the Nurse Jamie Roller, but since I'm gonna be filming today, it just gives a really lifted, um, less puffy look to my face. And it just takes a couple minutes and I really, really love this roller and I do think it works. So I'm gonna speed you guys up through that and then we will get on with the routine. done with that routine it takes about five minutes so a little bit longer but I do feel well after I do it like my face is really less puffy and lifted which I love I like to do that after my moisturizer but before my SPF because you don't want to apply your SPF immediately after moisturizer because um, the moisturizer is not always sunken into your skin completely and that can dilute down your SPF so you're not getting the most effective sun protection. So it's kind of a perfect step in between. But the most important step for the daytime is definitely sun protection, SPF, whatever you want to call it. One that I have not put down recently is from Dermatology. It's their universal um, tinted moisturizer. Yeah, universal tinted moisturizer, SPF 46. This formula is amazing because it's a mixture of chemical and mineral sunscreens. I mean filters, you know what I mean. So it 
it has that mineral protection but because it has the chemical in there it just feels a little more moisturizing and lotiony and uh, the texture of this is just amazing it's very glowy but it sinks in and doesn't leave you looking like you know like a tin man like you can use it by itself I love this by itself but I love it for under makeup it's what I've been reaching for the most for under makeup lately uh, yeah I just love this one so much doesn't irritate my skin at all none of that stinging burning sensation and you can see it leaves a nice natural glow behind nothing too crazy and it will sink in I'm just gonna use a little bit more for my forehead All right guys, that is it for my current daytime skincare routine. Let me know down below what is a necessity in your skincare routine and if you like these skincare type of videos, I could definitely do this for a nighttime routine as well. I wanted to separate it so it didn't get too confusing. I'm not a skincare expert, but this is just what works for me personally. Um, as always, like this video if you've enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel, it would mean so much to me. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye.